What are the odds that we would totally find one? I mean, I mean. Okay, hi everybody. It is Sue from Lopsided Learning and I'm being overtaken by my husband's lawn mowing. We might have to take two, hang on. Welcome back to Lopsided Learning. Today, we're gonna be at the far side of the creek, not the furthest it could possibly be, but down pretty far. Um, and I haven't looked here too much, so I thought, what the heck, let's give it a shot, let's give it a try. Um, so here we are. So I will let you know when I find something down here at this side, I'll show you the creek area I'm looking at. I'm sitting down actually because I'm on a hilly part. So I got all this down here and then you can see the water flowing. And I'm hoping somewhere in all that, I mean, this hasn't really been touched yet. So let's see what we find. Here we go. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I did a little bit of looking around here. I think I might have dug up a couple things before, but I found my favorite thing to look under, which helped me find some stuff. Um, but some's broken, one's a bummer. <laughs> let's look. So, we found ourselves, this is so sad, another one of those broken jugs. Not sure what it, I don't see a name or anything on it. That's a bummer. Um, and I must have pulled this up before. It's um, the federal law thing. And then, just uh, I think that's another three-fourths quart. Three-fourths quart. And then here, metal da, 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 da. and then the green bottle and then let me put my gloves on here put my gloves on because I want to look a little bit closer what is that Let's see what that that's just a broken piece of glass all right so there's this things I was digging here oh look at that posted private property keep out well, it's ours now ha 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 Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. I think someone's playing a joke on me here. <laughs> Can I already find this? Okay, someone's playing a joke on me. I think I already found this and they are playing a joke on me with the post-it sign. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's mowing in the background. <laughs> Um, this is a really cool bottle that we found a while ago, but I don't think I got it on tape. I did clean it. Now it's dirty again. <laughs> um, what did we find on this? I'm trying to remember. Norwich. It says Norwich. I don't know if you guys can see that on the top. Norwich, some kind of alcoholic beverage, I'm assuming. And gosh. And then it was 14 and an I in a circle and a seven and a four. Well, the triangle shaped bottle came up again. That's already been found <laughs> underneath the private property sign. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that is a neat find, and I guess I will do some more research on it. Um, I guess he could tell I was here last. I don't even know when I was here. Okay. So anyway, I will catch up with you soon, guys. I'm going to keep digging. Okay, guys, I am down at the creek level right now. I slid down the hill, and I already spotted something. So let's take a look, and then I'll let you see what I can see around me. So right here, this kind of kind of stood out. I don't know what it is. It's just like probably just a basic bottle. And forgive me again, it's just me doing it today. Um, probably just a basic old bottle, but it's got rivets and things on the side and it's a screw top, so no big deal. But 
I'm gonna say this is really our first find. The other one was hidden on purpose. So this is our first so first find, and this is what it's gonna look like where I'm going. So look around, so you can kind of see what I mean. There's, isn't it pretty? Yeah, we have not been down here yet. So, I can't wait and see if there is more stuff. Back around to me now. Okay guys, I'm gonna go check it out and let you know what I find. Okay again guys, I'm down even further down the creek. Um, the sun's starting to come down. I'm so sorry about that. I might monkey up the picture. But I see my metal that I like to pick up. So I'm gonna turn this. So there's some metal here, rocks. And this is just a nifty little spot in general, really. Huh, beautiful, all in my backyard. Okay, so I'm gonna dig that up and see if it's anything magnificent or not. I'm getting my glove on here. All right, here we go, guys. So there's the bucket or burn barrel, maybe. Mm, yeah, burn barrel. Let's look inside. I don't think that's coming up, but I do spot some glass. Hang on a second. Over here. Um, I think it's a broken, yeah, they're broken, but it's it's showing us stuff right so we got a probably just a broken beer then we've got oh a broken wine <laughs> our nemesis here the orange juice uh, I, I i wonder if they use this for canning too i don't know if you guys watch my other videos but um i finally figured out why i was finding so many lime juice bottles after I found another thing. What is that? Oh, it's glass. I should really put my... What is... Oh. It's a broken. But what is it a broken of? Where am I? I mean, I'm down further in the property, so it's kind of curi curious here. What does it say? I'm still not really sure. Not really sure. Either way, we're finding bottles here. Um, so I'm gonna dig around this area. Um, won't be able to pick that up, but I'm just gonna keep looking around because I'm seeing more metal. So I'll get back to you with what I find. Okay guys, it's Sue. Um, I was down at the creek level and my other camera went dead, so I'm using this one now. Um, it was probably good to come up anyway because it's getting um, kind of rough down there and probably should have a camera person maybe taping me. But I did find this one thing. It's broken but beautiful. It was underneath everything in the water like. It was, so here it is. And it's so beautiful. And it was broken. Look at the sides. Um, very ornate, cork top. Um, I bet that would have been just the most fabulous find. And it gives me kind of some excitement about you know, coming back and going down lower um, with maybe my husband and maybe digging a little bit more um, because there's a fantastic pieces to be found, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot. Yeah. So we still have a ton of area to cover. I'm going to see if I can find anything else, but I'm not going to go too low. So we'll see you soon. Hi, guys. It's Sue again. Yes, the sun is coming down. Um, I just had a couple finds here and I I think I just uh, almost knocked down this tree here. I think it was dead anyway, but here we go. Let's look. Um, so there's this poor tree, but this was near it. Probably just a Vix or medicine, nothing major. And then around that area, I also found just a, a three-fourths bottle thing, nothing major. But um, I accidentally uprooted it and I think it was dead anyway. Okay guys, this is Sue again. I'm back to like a more normal spot um, and I'm finding things already. I'm not positive, but something I think I just found, if it's whole, is gonna be so hysterical, you're just gonna die. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna show you. Um, I found a couple other bottles too, cause I, like to go and look at that right the, that stuff but then there was this bottle 
Guys, look at the shape. <laughs> Is it it? <laughs> he thought he got me and he didn't. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's make sure, guys. Let's make sure. Oh my god, this. Oh my goodness, excuse me. It's so funny. I think these are the same. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where's my husband? <laughs> I'm going to take this one. Oh, where did I put the other one? Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I left it over at the other site. That's the same thing. Oh my goodness. I must not have brought it over. <laughs> Looks like the joke's on him. <laughs> That's so cool, guys. I'm not sure what it what it is, but it's just like the one that I found and they hit on me. <laughs> anyway, let's keep looking. Okay, guys, let's do again. Um, yeah, the sun is going down. Um, I'm going to show you some of the finds I found right over here. And then over here I'm spotting something that might be kind of good. Hang on, like not great, but good. Hey guys. So if you turn over here, um, I dug around here a little bit. And ugh, we found kind of a cool shaped little jar. You know, nothing little, nothing special things, right? Just, just that kind of thing. And then I found this cup that was broken. And I think I found one of these before. And it's just a cup, guys. It's no big deal, okay? And I feel bad that it's missing its partner or something. But, you know, it's, it's okay. But then I came over here to dig. And looky here. Does that kind of look like that glass? <gasps> and is it whole? I think it is. It's whole. It's whole. So let's see where did I put that other one. <laughs> so the broken one, his hole was over here. So they were over here, and he was right over here. Isn't that strange? Was this the cup? That's a different type of cup. I don't know. Anyway, I found a whole cup, glass cup. Not exciting, but I'll take it. <laughs> Okay, just a little bit more and we will wrap it up for tonight. Okay guys, it's Sue again. I'm really excited. I didn't get to get to this on camera because I don't really have anybody to tape um, and my husband I can smell is cooking some stuff on the grill right now. But I found what I love and it was this and only it was the other way. It's a just a white bucket and it was in this hole right here but I really had to dig it out and I still haven't looked further in there but so then I put over here and then so I could show the big reveal guys oh, ready one two three this fell out <laughs> one gal oh one half gallon I think I got me an old milk I think that's what it is I think so it was inside, guys, all that dirt, and inside this. I mean, that was so cool. Oh, I, I'm delighted. I'm very delighted. And there could be more there. Who knows? All right, guys. I think I'm really happy with today's finds. Um, wasn't a long time that I was out here, um, but I'm still cool with it. So I'm going to come back show you everything while it's still dirty um and then i'll show you things when it's all cleaned up i'll see you in a minute okay guys here goes so here we have our posted private property keep out sign that i found at the beginning that someone put there that was so nice and i found some bottles underneath including the one i'd already cleaned Mm hmm I can't wait to find out which one of them it was. I think I know. But the joke is on them because na 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 na. We totally found one. What are the odds that we would totally find one? I mean I mean it's only the second one I've ever found. Nerdwitch. I I've wow. Okay, I'm very new at this guys. Okay, we go back down. Look at this ornate piece. I know it's broken, but this piece right here, oop, that's okay. Nothing broke, as I always say. 
This right here was found way, way down in the creek level. Cork, beautiful. I'm taking it in to have it looked at, but I think we really need to get deeper into the creek. And um, I'm gonna need a little bit more help for that. So once I have someone to give me more help with that, I will go do that. Then we found this perfectly good glass that was thrown out. Nothing special, but it's perfectly good. It feels frosted. I wonder what it was from. And then guys, end with a bang, end with a boom. <laughs> I love it. My milk jug, my half gallon. I think it's milk. I I'm saying milk, but I could be wrong, guys. You, you just let me know. <laughs> I'll clean these up and then I'll let you know what we got. We'll see you soon. Hey guys, and welcome back to Lopsided Learning. We're gonna go over today's finds. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you one of the reasons why I think I like collecting bottles and doing things like that so much. So I'm gonna start with off with this little introduction thing, okay? Here we go. My start of my love of bottles, this Coors Light bottle. And let me tell you, it's not because I like to drink Coors Light. In fact, I hate beer. <laughs> But when I first started dating my husband, um, even though I give him a hard time a lot and he kind of teases me right back, um, when we were first dating, he was helping a farmer out and they were just like knocking down all these beautiful daisies. And he had asked me if I would pull up, pick him up um, and take him back to his truck and he was gonna leave the tractor there. So I did. and. I remember it like yesterday. <laughs> I got there. I think I took one step up into the tractor and then he had it behind his back and gave it to me and it was the sweetest thing ever. So, and today is our anniversary. So I just thought that'd be fun. So yeah, the love of the bottle started with this one. <laughs> okay guys, today's finds. Well, my husband knows a couple things. Metal, Sue's got to pull up, and if I see this sign, I'm going to really want to look. So, we all know that he played this joke on me. So we found this bottle, Norwich, a while ago, and he had that hidden. And then, to my pleasant surprise, I mean, I still can't believe we found another one. That one's a little shorter. But, but, um, I was so excited that I didn't realize, guys, and you probably did, this is a bummer, it actually does have a, a hole in it, but that's okay, because we got this other one. But I'm <laughs> really glad he did do this, because then I did some research on Norwich, and this is what I found out, the historical facts on Norwich. So there was nothing saying, you know, how many... You know, no, no way to measure it or anything. So I thought, how can this be like a liquor bottle? And then when I did my research, I found out that Norwich is actually a company that formed in 1887, 133 years ago, guys. And in 1901, they came up with the first antiseptic. And then in 1907, they came out with aspirin. And now I just want you to take a look at this bottle and imagine it filled with pink stuff. <laughs> if you said that you think this was a Pepto-Bismol bottle, you are correct. <laughs> so Pepto-Bismol, funny history. It was originally um, something that was introduced to help children that had diarrhea. Strange, but true. Um, and then it ended up being a very effective um, in other ways, as we all know. And the really cool thing about Norwich Company, though, um, is that they received a World War II um, medal, um, award, I should say, with four added stars for their support in the war efforts. So in World War II, I think that's amazing. So let's move on. 
I kind of brushed over this guy. It's not nothing real special. It's got a cool texture to it, though. And then we found this beautiful ornate piece. So, yes, I'm going to be going back into that same area and digging. I've got my, someone already planned to help me dig. And then we save the best for last. I, I guess this is the best for last for me. It is. I can't believe it. Another thing I can't believe. So, we have one half gallon. Okay, guys. Everybody, I know you're laughing at me. This is not milk, okay? Okay, I got it. <laughs> so this was likely filled with some sort of liquor. Um, and it's one half gallon of some sort of liquor. But it's perfectly intact. And on one last note, guys, another thing you probably were going nuts about during the video. <laughs> I was saying, um, I forgot what I was saying, but when I was pulling out the wine bottles and things, what I meant to say was four-fifths. <laughs> you, I, I was like, what am I saying here? Four-fifths, Sue, four-fifths bottle. So I apologize for that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching Lopsided Learning. Um, we are having a great time finding new and exciting things. Going down to the creek has definitely been super fun. Um, and I can't wait to explore some more with you guys and then talk a little bit about the history of some of the, our finds. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna have some new videos soon. And the World War II one is coming. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how to put it together because it's pretty cool. All right, guys. I hope you all stay well and take care. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.